TitleMatchNetwork.com. Who came up with the uh, New Blood vs. Millionaire's Club storyline? I don't know. It may have been Vince. It may have been me. It may have been Vince and I over coffee. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Easy to work together? You want In the beginning. As time went on, what, what, what would happen? Well, I mean, this is documented, so I'm not talking about right. anything that I haven't talked about before. But, you know, there was... There are trust issues. You know, I've, I've I've said before, I can work with people I don't like. I have a hard time working with people I can't trust. And there were trust issues there. And I think it 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 manifested ultimately in in July, uh, the following July. What happened there? What happened there? Well, it was there was a couple things that happened there. Um, one, my my father had just passed away right before that. And so that was, you know, it is what it is. And we've all, we will all go through that, those of us that haven't. But it was a, it was a tough time for me. And we had, I think the pay-per-view was the day after my father's funeral. And I had to fly from Minneapolis into wherever it was, Daytona Beach, I think is where it was. But I had to fly in there. And because of the, because of that, I got in late. But it was a funeral. And I, I think I instead of getting in at 10 in the morning, I ended up getting in at 1 in the afternoon. And I had asked everyone to hold off on the production meeting until I got there and that I would be in at approximately the time I got in. Well, I got to the building and I walked in and the production meeting was already taking place. That was my first red flag. And then, of course, pulled everybody out of the meeting and or Vince and everybody and said, what are we doing here? And Vince had his idea of what he wanted to do. And I had my idea of what I wanted to do. And Hulk, and Hulk and I had our idea of what we wanted to do, and we'd already talked to Brad Siegel about it, and that was the way the situation, that was the the process. You know, Vince could come up with ideas, but we had to both agree, and if we didn't, then Brad Siegel was the tiebreaker. And it involved Hulk, and Hulk had creative control. So I was a little pissed off just to start off with, but I didn't sell it. I didn't show it to anybody, um, I don't think. And anyway, I pulled Vince aside and we started talking and Hulk got involved and Vince kind of drew a line in the sand and, and I was happy that he did. And I said, okay, great. Let's go into the, uh, let's go into the trailer, get on the phone. We'll call Brad Siegel. We'll see what we're going to do. Call Brad Siegel, laid everything out. Vince laid everything out. Brad said, Vince, you're going to go, you're going to do what Eric and Hulk want to do. And I don't remember the details of the story, so please don't ask, but it, it it involved Hulk leaving the building with the belt. Okay. Because the idea, I don't remember specifically how it was supposed to end, but the idea was that Hulk was going to quit, leave with the belt. We were going to create a, okay, we've got to create a new champion. It was going to be a heel that comes out at Halloween Havoc. And instead of having that match with the heel, that's when Hulk, uh, the heel and whatever the baby face was, Hulk was going to be like, uh, 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 as a surprise. Right. And we're going to do that match. So that, that was some version of that, more finely tuned, but that was the idea. And everybody liked that. And after having had the conflict with, with Vince, after having had the conference call with the president of the network, we all agreed what we were going to do. Part of that storyline was when Hulk got pissed off and left, he left the building and I left with him. And we did. And we got into a car and then we got into a, a plane, a private jet. And we were flying home because we had laid everything out the way we wanted it laid out for the most part. And we did our job. Our job was to get the car and leave the building. We right. wanted people to believe it was real. By the time we landed in Tampa, which was uh, about an 18-minute flight, by the time we landed, our phones were blowing up because Russo grabbed the microphone and went into business for himself, which was not a part of the script whatsoever. And then that's when the wheels completely fell off. Do you think uh, Hawk was right in suing? Yeah. Yeah. If I could have, I would have. Were you shocked when uh, Brad didn't side with you and... Against Russo? He did side with Yeah, me. that's what I meant. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I wasn't shocked at all. What are your first thoughts when you find out that WCW had hired Vince Russo and Ed Farr to head up creative? Uh, I felt about the same way. Were you watching any of the uh, programming at this point? No, I really wasn't. Um, 
from that period in September uh, when I went fishing uh, till probably around December or so, I didn't really, I didn't watch any wrestling. I just kind of turned the switch off for a while. I wanted to like Vince. Vince is a charming guy. Vince is a very, it's hard not to like Vince Russo when, As when, a you, right. when you sit down and talk to him. But keep in mind, I had some, yeah, I had one conversation with Russo prior when, when things were still going pretty good and he was still working at WWE. Um, but by that time, I had heard enough that I had a little bit of a predisposition about him. But when I met him, I just, you know, I, just, I wanted it to work. What were his uh, strengths and, and weaknesses? He's a charming guy, and he can be very persuasive. Weaknesses? I don't think he really understands the wrestling business. In your book, you called Russo a uh, one-trick pony and, and full of shit. After your time with Did him, I say that? Yeah. Would I call somebody a one-trick pony and full of shit? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> It's been said that Russo attempted to put WWE Blueprint on WCW and all the characters, and in doing so, uh, destroyed a lot of the talent that was left in the company by stripping the company and the personalities too far from what made them unique. Would you concur? You'd have to ask Russo. You know, I don't know what his motivation was or what his approach to things were. TitleMatchNetwork.com